What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day guys. Quick little reminder, click the link if you want to support the show. It's a big, big help just by clicking the link. You know, no obligation to buy, no obligation to really do anything. Click the link, check out the product. That's it. And, and it supports what I do. Every click counts. Today's stories, guys, are really, really good. All about the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I want to talk about that. So let's just dive right in. The first story has to do with some two-way communication, something that's inside of Apple phones. And we heard it was gonna come with the S23 phones and it didn't. And now it looks like it's being delayed and put out to the S24 phones instead. And this is what it is. It is two-way satellite communication that will allow us in emergency situations to communicate with um, people you know uh, that transmits and receives satellite data again you're not going to use this to chat with your friends or anything like that you're going to use it in emergency situations so you're in a ditch you fell you're in a valley you're all alone there's no cell service you could go and use this service and communicate with people i've I, i've reviewed a product like this you know it was a dongle and i just did it a couple weeks ago and it works with any phone android or apple doesn't matter what year or anything like that so these things are cool these are going to be handy it'll probably be free like apples for a little bit and then it'll end up being a service you'll probably pay a monthly fee for again you're not going to use it to communicate with your friends you can with the service i have and you can so the the, the little thing i reviewed um, which is the Motorola Defy, you can communicate with SOS, you know, services, and also with your friends and family. This one I would bet is only gonna be for emergency things. So still cool to have though, and it looks like Samsung's probably gonna get it based off of this article in the beginning of 2024. What about the rest of the S24 Ultra? Well, Ice Universe has leaked out a couple of things. Again, he's like doing this in a trickling sense. And the first one is that the camera has adopted a new 3X 50 megapixel sensor. With this sensor, Samsung can get a good 5X zoom image quality. So our zooming capabilities in terms of capturing beautiful photos when you zoom in should be improved again with the S24 Ultra. Not something I use all the time, but again, it can come in pretty handy and capture uh, some great looking photos, but also we're not done with that. It's also, and this is a little bit more murky, but he does say it is also going to have a upgraded screen as well. He doesn't talk about if it's the brightness or the quality or what it is it's probably going to be a mixture of both i don't think they're going to a 4k display it's probably still going to be 2k it's probably still going to be 120 hertz um but it's most likely going to be a little bit brighter and probably just a little bit more crisper like a newer technology display with that what do you guys think so far about so far about the s24 ultra are you looking to get it are you looking to hold off you're going to get a folding phone a flip phone some other phone an iphone let me know in the comments down below without further ado let's jump on our q a Aramo asks how he can get vertical scrolling on his Samsung phone. Well, <clears throat> I don't think it works on the, I don't know if you're talking about the Fold 5 or anything, but I don't believe it works on the Fold phones because I just tried it in my Fold. I believe it only works on like the S23 Ultra for some reason, but you have to download GoodLock. You have to download the Home Up app in that. And then there's a module in there that says App List. You just click on that and you're able to do vertical scrolling at that point. It's got this big hunk of junk bar at the top that, and it cuts half the screen off. It's kind of stupid compared to the way like Google does it, I think. Um, I don't know why it's not just built into the operating system without having it. Like, why do you have to download an extra module in order to get vertical scrolling on your app screen? I don't know, but that's how they do it. So yes, it is possible, but if it's on a, again, if it's on a folding phone, I don't think you can do it. Thanks so much, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the link down below to support the site. Every click counts, and I appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.